Welcome! Today we are going to learn how to use the mocha pot. Hooray! Now let's clear off the prep table. First you need a mocha pot. Water! Milk. Any kind you like. Soy, almond, coconut, you got it. Cup. Teaspoon of tea. Now the first thing you're going to do is unscrew the top of the mocha pot. Inside you will find a basket. Take that out. You're going to want to fill almost to the edge. You'll see a little spout in there. Fill it right to there. Any higher, you're going to have a little mess. Water, basket in. You're going to use at least one tablespoon of Tespresso tea. For a stronger brew, use two. No more than two because the basket cannot hold that much. Screw the top of the mocha pot to the bottom. Make sure it is very snug. Now let's head to the stove. Medium heat. Make sure the handle is away from the flame so you don't have a multi handle. If you have an electronic stove pad, no worries. After a while, you're going to hear some gurgling. When it stops, you'll have a full cup of Tespresso tea shots. Turn off the stove and carefully remove the mocha pot away. Remember, it's hot. Let's go back to the prep table. Now remember, this is just like espresso, so as is, it might not be the best. So we, what we suggest is to fill the cup halfway with a Tespresso tea shot, then the other half with water to make an Americano or milk to make a latte. There you have it. We're done. Thanks. Wow, this is good. To make sure that your mocha pot is shiny and lasts for a long time, all you need to do is simply hand rinse and air dry. Make sure to dump the tea leaves out or put it in your plant potter as it makes for great fertilizer. We highly recommend to not use a dishwasher or a scrub or else it will lose a shine and become dull. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much and have a great day.